Okay. So good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I hope that you are all doing fine. Um, today is July 2, 2021, and I have four students here in my class. So our topic for today is all about prepositions of time. Okay. So before we start our lesson, um, I would like you to listen to this recording. While you're listening, try to write those prepositions that are being used in the recorded conversation. Is that clear? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. So here is the recorded conversation. Hi guys, I just want to talk to you because I miss you all so much. I couldn't imagine that the last time I've talked to each other personally was in 2020. It's been a roller coaster year for all of us. Um, how are you doing, guys? We're doing fine. My parents are deciding to have a family vacation in Baraka next month. You can join us if you want. Sure, why not? We've been there in 2019 and I can still remember how beautiful that island was. Um, when will be the exact date? Because I need to ask permission from my mom and dad. Dad said that it will be on December 1st. Great, I can't wait to see you all. Can we please hang out on Saturday this week? I really miss you all guys. Sure. At what time will we meet? Can we meet at 1 p.m.? Because I have some errands in the morning. That's fine with me. See you all at the party Saturday. Okay. So now that you've heard the recorded conversation, um, what prepositions of time have you list down on your notes? Sir. Yes, Lila. Uh, sir, I've listed down three prepositions. The prepositions in, on, and at. Okay. Very good, Lila. How about the others? Are your answers the same as Lila's answers? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Very good. So the prepositions in the recorded conversation are in, on, and at. Now, I will play again the recording. Try to list down the prepositional phrases you will hear in the recorded conversation. Again, the prepositional phrase consists of the preposition uh, in our lesson, the preposition of time, plus the object of the preposition. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Okay. I will now play again the recording. Hi guys, I just want to talk to you because I miss you all so much. I couldn't imagine that the last time I've talked to each other personally was in 2020. It's been a roller coaster year for all of us. Um, how are you doing, guys? We're doing fine. My parents are deciding to have a family vacation in Baraka next month. You can join us if you want. Sure, why not? We've been there in 2019 and I can still remember how beautiful that island was. Um, when will be the exact date? Because I need to ask permission from my mom and dad. Dad said that it will be on December 1st. Great, I can't wait to see you all. Can we please hang out on Saturday this week? I really miss you all guys. Sure. At what time will we meet? Can we meet at 1 p.m.? Because I have some errands in the morning. That's fine with me. See you all at the party Saturday. Okay. So now that... So now, uh, what are the prepositional phrases that you've listed? Can anyone share their answers? Sure. Yes, Rizal. The prepositional phrases that I've gathered are in 2020, in 2019, on December 1st, on Saturday, at 1 p.m., and in the morning. Very good, Rizal. How about the others? Are your answers the same as Rizal's answers? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, great job, everyone. The prepositional phrases in the recorded conversation are in 2020, in 2019 on December 1st, on Saturday, at 1 p.m., and in the morning. 
now. Um, I would like you to construct your own sentences using this prepositional phrases that you've gathered. I will give you five minutes, and after that, I will call you one by one to share your sentences with the class. Um, your five minutes starts now. Okay. Are you then now constructing your sentences? Yes, sir. Okay. Now let's start with Rizal. Can you share with us what you have come up with? Yes, sir. Um, the sentence that I prepared is, my family will have a vacation on December 15. Okay. Um, Joseph, do you think Priscilla's sentence follows the pattern of the recorded conversation that you've listened earlier? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. Now, can you please share with us what have you come up with? Okay, sir. The sentence that I prepared is, we will meet at 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Okay. Um, Lila, do you think Joseph's sentence follows the pattern of the recorded conversation that you've listened earlier? Yes, sir. Uh, Joseph's sentence is correct. Okay. Now, Lila, uh, can you please share with us what have you come up with? Sir, the sentence that I prepared is, the deadline for our final project will be moved in July. Great job, everyone. Um, it is important to master the rule in using these prepositions because most of the time, we are very much confused when we will use the prepositions at, on, and in in our sentences. Let us always remember that we are using prepositions of time to indicate when something happens. For example, the preposition at is used for clock time. The preposition on is used for days of the week and dates. And the preposition in is used for time of day, months, years, and seasons. So, are there any clarifications before we end this discussion? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, good. You all did a great job for today. I hope that you have learned a lot of things about our lesson. That's all for now, and thank you for attending this Google Meet. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you.